Forgot to get this thing back here. No, it's f God. Now I forgot. It's three, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. All right, the wrong way. Nope, not gonna trick me. <laughs> Better Call Saul. That's a good anime. I binged the hell out of it. It is four. Wait. Two, three, one. Ah, nope, got it. Easy. You know what movie y'all should watch? Pulse, not Pulse. Is it called Pulse? I think it's called Pulse. The um, the, the uh, Chinese, I think it's Chinese, Japanese. It's called Pulse. It's really good. It wasn't, it was not 69, 420. Yeah, I'm going the right way. I think it's called Pulse. Can't remember. I know one. The um, uh, there was like an American adaption of it. Shoot, this place is a maze. I think it's called Pulse. It's about ghost. It's like it's about ghost. It's like it's literally it's literally phasmophobia. So basically, people die and then they if whatever room they died in and whatever area they died in, they hunt they hunt that area. So if a living person goes into that area, they have a chance of running into the ghost that hunts that area. And if the ghost touches you, you go crazy. You go crazy or you die. If you go into their ghost room, and then it touches you. Sounds like real life. You've ran into ghosts before. I personally don't believe in ghosts. You would think I would believe in ghosts because I've seen a lot of crazy shit. When I was growing up, especially um, around like five, six years old. Hey, why is it not going? Just put a restraining order on the ghost, on the ghost. Just put a restraining order on the ghost. That's not gonna work. Getting tired. Might not be able to do jail. Holy crap. Man, she kind of bad. Like, she's sexy as fuck. Look at that stance.
This is the best waifu in the game. Ooh, damn. Yeah, she does. Puts every girl to shame that I've ever known. But you need to watch. I need to find the name of it. It is a really good ghost, foreign ghost film. It is really good. Nah, it's true. It's true. Lisa Trevor, bro. She's on another level. Uh, you need a you need a certain level of like intellect to comprehend the beauty the beauty that is Lisa Trevor. Like imagine being so beautiful that like people can't comprehend it, so they just think you're ugly. This whole underground area, like, screw off. Every Resident Evil game that has an underground area, well, it's pretty much all of them. The underground areas just freaking suck. Right, so now we gotta bait her. Whatever side you go to is what side she'll appear on. So we need her to appear on that side. So we can click this. Then. First, take your time. can't combine because this game is in the stone age oh what the fuck she cut me off she cut me off that's new And that's how you heal in this game. You have to take the weeds. I think I ran the wrong freaking way. Ah, this part sucks now. Oh my God, why did she cut me off? Might have to, um, can't kill her, but might have to injure her. That's a waste of bullets. I'm not even gonna do it. Injure. Might have to injure her. Might have to injure her. You can't kill her. She's immortal. Tilo has too much goat hair in her ears.
Alright, me take. Now we will be done with the game once we get out of here. The lab's so much better. And short. It's the one part of the game I just freaking hate. Not really, but the least favorite part of the game, the underground. Yeah, it freaking sucks. Alright, so we're gonna put this away, this away. We don't need this. But we do need this. Actually, no. We're gonna take this first. Uh like this, combine it with that, and we got we Gucci. You know, I'm gonna take this off, run a little bit faster. Only reason I kept it on me, like equipped, throughout the underground area is because I don't know, I don't know where enemies, I don't remember the freaking enemies. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna save those for later. We need those for later for the end boss. The game, rest of the game is pretty easy now. Where's that zombie at? Dude just staring at the... Yo, get juked. Dude just staring at the moonlight. <laughs> yeah, that dude got fucked up. That dude, <laughs> he bopped his head against the tree. We're done. We don't have to do anything else with the mansion. Mansion three. Return to the mansion a third time. I don't think there's any hunters here. Yeah, I beat village yesterday. I'm doing a whole playthrough. I'm doing a playthrough of the entire series, so. We've played, I think we've played through eight games already. Uh, I think, I mean, it's up to you. I think it's a good game. I think it's a really good game. I think it's one of the, one of the best games in the series because it has a, it's very story driven. Like this game, this game you're seeing now isn't really story driven. You're mostly, you're just like kind of just running around and just collecting stuff. Uh, Resident Evil 8, Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil 8. You're not, you're not running around just collecting stuff. I mean, you are running around and collecting stuff, but that game has like cutscenes and stuff and dialogue with the characters and stuff pretty frequently. Unlike the older Resident Evil games. So games like this, these are like the old style of Resident Evil games. There's not going to be much going on for like character dialogue and stuff like that. It's just mostly just you running around just collecting stuff. And occasionally you'll get a cutscene and some stuff being explained to you. But these games, the way you learn about what's going on, you have to read the files within the games. And Resident Evil 5, in my opinion, is not even that great compared to all of the other Resident Evil games. But Resident Evil 5 is one of my most played. Like, it's really fun. But Resident Evil 5 isn't really, it's not really a Resident Evil game. 
Because Resident Evil is a horror series. It started off as horror. And then uh, it changed. It took a drastic turn into action. And like them changing it more into action is fine. But the story in Resident Evil 5 is absolutely stupid. It makes no sense. It, it like it kind of retcons the older games like the, the way Wesker changed in Resident Evil 5 compared to the previous games. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, logic and stuff is out the window at Resident Evil 5. Resident Evil 5 story is just really stupid. And worst Resident Evil game would be Resident Evil. Uh, probably be Resident Evil, Resident Evil Umbrella Core. But Village, I think Village is worth getting. But that's just me. I don't know what kind of games you're into. Like I, if you're more into action games, I would say, like just play, stick with Resident Evil 5, 6, or 4, 5, 6. Actually, the more, the most actiony, the more actiony Resident Evil games would be 3, 4, 5, 6. Operation Raccoon City. Uh, uh, freaking Resident Evil. Uh, Co Veronica 2. Resident Evil Co Veronica. Uh, let's see. Those are the only real action ones. But if you want survival horror, like the best one would be. I think the best one would probably be like. Seven. I wouldn't I would I don't consider Resident Evil 8 like scary. It's not really scary. You're a bit of a mess up. Chris, take a piece of the action. Okay, we might die. Why not here? I should not fall off. One push, baby. How is she not falling off? Oh, she knocked that one down. Thank you. Uh, operate you mean Operation Raccoon City? Actually, I, I like Operation Raccoon City. Well, there's two parts to it. There's the USS, which are the people wearing the black latex. And then there is the... Then there is the, um, the Spec Ops. Spec Ops missions I like, but the USS I don't really like. The USS missions are pretty boring. But the Spec Ops I like a lot, mostly because they the Spec Ops missions mostly bring in the old characters, or like the, the familiar characters from the older Resident Evil games. But uh, I like Operation Raccoon City. Especially if you play with friends. If you play it by yourself, that game is awful. It's freaking bad. I've never, pl I've never played it alone. But I might actually have to play it alone. Because the online for that game is still around, but it's really buggy.
All right. Now we're pretty much done. I don't need that. Um, labs. So we're at, we're at the end game now. How did his head not? How did his head not come off? Capcom, explain to me. I have to burn these guys. Again. Alright, his came off, so we have to burn two. If you don't burn the zombies in this game, like, the zombies don't die. When you shoot the zombies, they don't die. I mean, when they fall down, they don't die. You think zombies will walk in real life or run? I think zombies will run. I mean, zombies, zombies don't make sense. Like zombies couldn't, couldn't exist for real. They, it couldn't, it couldn't be a real thing. Maybe if, if it's like 28 days later, sure. But like the traditional decaying zombie is, can that's not possible. Because when a brain starts to decay and stuff, like there's nothing for, there's nothing to operate. <laughs> There's nothing to operate. But for me, let's say, let's say, let's say zombies could be a thing like the decaying zombie could be a thing. So if somebody gets bit by a zombie, right? Why didn't I get the gas? If somebody gets bit by a zombie, they will have they will run. They will sprint. They will sprint because their body, you don't just decay when you get bit by a zombie. That doesn't make any sense. You get bit by a zombie, you get sick and you turn into a zombie due to the virus. So a fresh, a fresh zombie would be able to run full speed, a fresh one. But as time goes on and the body starts to break down, then that zombie will start walking. Maybe they'll start, they'll start, they'll start, they'll start jogging and then they'll start walking. And then eventually they'll, they'll just die from, you know, decay. So the zombie, the zombie movie that did it the best would be Dawn of the Dead remake. Dawn of, Dawn of the Dead remake did it the best. I, I feel. Because the zombies in there, they ran. If they were fresh, fresher, they ran. If they were older, they, they walked. And then you got games like, um, you got games like Dying Light. I don't know if any of you have ever played Dying Light. They do it really good there too. If a zombie, if a person was just bit by a zombie, that zombie will run full speed. That zombie will, it'll run full speed. It is talk. It can talk. It still has some of its, um, like the human aspect of it is still there a little bit, but as time goes on and the zombie decays, then the zombie starts to walk. They become the